everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lauren and I do videos about home decor, cleaning, and lifestyle here on YouTube. Now, today's video is going to be just a little bit different. So you guys are gonna be spending the day with me, sort of like a day in the life video. I have so much to do. It is gonna be such a busy, such a crazy day. I have a long to-do list. I have some baking and cooking, cleaning. I have to get ready. And then a little bit later in the day, I am so excited. I'm actually going to a friend's giving with some of my friends who are also YouTubers. So I will have all of them linked down below because I believe they are also going to be vlogging. So then you'll get to be able to see like our friends giving from everybody's different perspectives. But I am so, so excited, but I have a ton to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it can get you motivated to get up Get whatever you have on your to-do list done. And first, I need some coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be a cute YouTuber. Hmm. Oh gosh. Okay, take two. Okay, ignore the mess. <laughs> I just put those clean clothes over there, but I actually think I'm gonna crawl back into bed for about an hour or so because I have so much editing to do. You can see I have my laptop there. I have a video I have to get uploaded and up, or excuse me, edited and uploaded today, and I have a ton of emails I have to respond to. So my husband is off today, so he's watching our son, and I'm just gonna get it done. I'm gonna get in the bed, get comfy, drink my coffee, do my emails, do my editing, and then afterwards I'm going to make the bed, clean up a little bit, and then just get started on my to-do list. Now, today's video actually has a sponsor, which I am so excited about because it's actually my favorite natural deodorant brand now. It is Myro. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I get a little cuckoo about certain things and I try to use as natural of products as possible when I can. So like typically I don't use things with fragrance such as candles or perfume. And I have been using natural deodorant brands now for, geez, I wanna say like 10 years. My mom is a very all natural person. So she's the one that kind of made me like this and got me into it. And honestly, after all those years, I must have tried like every natural deodorant brand there is. If you guys 
have been using natural deodorants, then you know it's kind of hard to find one that actually works, that doesn't make you smell stinky. I've kind of gotten accustomed to keeping deodorant in my purse at all times because I would just kind of have to reapply it a bunch of times throughout the day or I would start smelling. And now I've only been using Myro for a couple weeks, but I love it. So this is the first deodorant that I've used where I haven't had to apply it throughout the day. And that is a major win in my book. And the Myro is free of things like aluminum and parabens. There is 0% nasty ingredients, which is super important to me. And it is vegan and cruelty free. But the coolest thing about Myro is it comes in a refillable case with deodorant pods. So you can see me kind of switching them out right now. It has the coolest design so you can easily switch out different scents. So if you guys are interested in checking out Myro, you can actually click the link in my description and use the code Lauren Midgley for 20% off when you subscribe and you'll get one case and one pod in your $10 starter kit to try it for 30 days and the one pod is approximately a one month supply and then after 30 days you'll receive a three pack of deodorant pod refills every three months delivered straight to your door so you don't even have to think about it and you can totally mix and match scents or you can pause or cancel refills at any time they're totally flexible so thank you so much to Myro for sponsoring today's video I am now a huge fan okay so I feel like I have a ton to do today I probably really don't have as much as I feel like but I just sometimes I'll like get so overwhelmed to think I have so much to do and then when I write it down it's like three things so I like to make lists just so I can try and like figure out figure it out and I know this is just like a notebook but I do not do good. Let me know how you guys are. I do not do good with like things on my phone or on my computer. Like I cannot do a calendar on my phone or my computer. It just doesn't work. And even planners, I don't know. I just am doing the old school way. So I'm just going to write a list of things I'm going to do. Everything you guys are going to see me do in this video. Okay, so here's the to-do list. So I definitely want to clean the living room, vacuum and mop. I need to curl my hair and do my makeup for the Friendsgiving and I especially need to make the chocolate pie and make the baked mac and cheese. We're doing it like a potluck where we're all bringing a couple items and that's what I said I would bring. If I have time, I want to clean out the closet and do one load of laundry. So that is my to-do list for today and like I said, I'm going to take you guys along with me as I do it. Okay, so I did my makeup, if you can see it. I haven't done my hair yet, obviously. I'm gonna curl that in a little bit. First, I am going to tidy up. So, James has been doing the dishes in between, like doing the dishes and cleaning in between me making everything. Um, that way I have like a clean surface to cook on. So I'm gonna tidy up like the living room and some other areas real quick and I'll show you guys that. So before I start cleaning and obviously um, I'm gonna be cleaning like the living room over there as well as our little kitchen area. But um, so if you've never seen my house before, <laughs> I have my dining room kitchen area. I did a complete makeover on that a couple months ago and same thing with my living room. So those two rooms are done. Now this room, just kind of looks like this. We've never done anything with it. 
we've lived in this house for maybe like a year and a half now and I don't know this table came with the house the previous owners left it behind and for a while I thought we were just gonna keep it as a dining room and a lot of people were suggesting a playroom but I really didn't want a playroom like right when you walked into the house because I didn't want it to be like messy all the time but now I'm kind of thinking I should do a playroom slash sitting room so not just toys everywhere but <laughs> the whole reason I got this idea is because of Christmas so I was thinking maybe I could put the Christmas tree in front of that window right there so that people could see the Christmas tree if it was like right there in front of the window and um, I could have like a nice rug and then maybe like a chair here and a chair there almost like a formal sitting area because this is our entryway table maybe like a formal sitting area formal living room type area with toys so that it's like a playroom but it doesn't look just like toy mania when you walk in I don't know let me know what you guys think if you have any ideas I know a ton of you are gonna be on board with that but let me know down below if you have like any specific ideas so I want it to be like a little bit different than normal a different angle let's see how this looks okay let's give it a try wait is it recording okay it's recording take two Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer vacuum this one is so old but it still works but definitely not as fancy as a lot of people's vacuums on YouTube <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was literally waiting for the butter to melt for so long and the burner wasn't on.
You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you, so long. Okay, so now we are going to start baking the mac and cheese. And um, you're supposed to bake it for about 30 minutes. I'm only gonna do about 20 and then I'm gonna put foil on top and do the last 10 when I get to Jessica's house because she's kind of a drive away from me. So I actually just got this at Walmart. It was only $9, how pretty is that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray the pan so nothing sticks. Okay, so I actually just pulled up to Jessica's house. I did not have time to film when I was getting in the car or finishing getting ready because I was running a little bit behind. So I'm excited. This um, cardigan, if anyone's wondering, is from Walmart. If you haven't seen my Walmart fall haul try on, they had so many cute clothes, so I'm wearing this, and these earrings are from Walmart. My, I have pink shoes on that are also from Walmart. Woo! Okay, so I am gonna go in and see all the other girls. I think I'm the last one here. And grab my mac and cheese, my rolls, my pie. I am so excited, you guys. I think we're all gonna be vlogging in there, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. So we have green bean casserole, mac and cheese, baked mac and cheese, rolls, cranberry sauce. What is this? I think that's stuffing. Ooh, yeah. yes. Um, this looks like sweet potatoes. What are these? Well, I'm calling them <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin bread bites. I have no idea. Ooh, so creative. We have deviled oh, eggs, like crackers, oh. popcorn. Pretzels and cheese, some more appetizers. <laughs> it's kind of just like a stick of butter, though. <laughs> Is that butter? <laughs> it looks like butter, and we love our butter here in the South. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Wait, it's shaking. Mashed potatoes, gravy, chicken, ham. Trashy with hands. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? So, you know how you trade lunches with kids at school uh -oh. when you're younger? Oh, Lord. So, I had peanut butter and jelly, and this other kid, had, she or he, I don't even know who it was, had ham. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. But they didn't tell me that there was like pureed apples on the sandwich. What? And to me, it just Where? like threw me off so much. <laughs> I just. That's your traumatic. There was apples on it. It was tragic. I thought you were gonna say like it threw something up. No, 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 no. It just threw me off that one. <laughs> you got they want they're here to watch me eat. <laughs> Just Welcome back to my channel. Oh my lord. 
lesson? Yeah. 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 As I'm staying close to the mirror A lock of gold, a secret smile Little things I remember Right. Did you feel me? So when we like say prayers when we eat in mm -hmm. my family, it's like me and my husband and my son. I'm always holding my son's hand. Oh. So I started rubbing your hand while we were praying. <laughs> no, I, was, I didn't notice it. <laughs> like just a gentle caress. Oh my gosh. And then like, the Lord's you. coming on to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. This oh is not God. that kind of dinner. <laughs> Oh my god, don't you dare put down here. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my dad's character. This well, is Lauren's period pie. Okay, 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 it's a chocolate pie and my mommy will be the first time I got my period. And we'll talk about how I am eating so chocolate pie. Lauren's period pie and it's delicious. Look at this beautiful coffee. watching her old videos. <laughs> She's just trying to get her views up. Okay, so I am home now. It is so much later. I feel like, does anyone else wear contacts where I feel like you can tell it's time to go to bed when they start getting like sticky and it almost makes you more tired because your eyes are just so dry that you can barely keep them awake. But oh my gosh, I had the best time. I really did. Um, so we went over there at 4.30 and I was thinking like, oh, you know, maybe I'll be there till like 6.30 or seven. No, it is 12.45. In the morning, I was there until about 11.30. I mean, seriously guys, it was the best, the best time. So all of us have actually hung out before. We all have gone to like lunch and Hobby Lobby before about a month back. And so we've all like hung out and we all know each other and we're in like a group chat. But um, it was just like such a good time. We all brought over different things to eat and we ate dinner and we talked and we laughed and then afterwards Jessica put on Christmas music and made us coffee and we just sat in the living room and we just laughed and laughed and laughed and then like we were joking that she must have snuck some alcohol in our coffee because then we all were getting really deep and just talking about like different things we struggle with and kind of just motivating and uplifting each other and it was just it was such a great time i could not be any more thankful to have met all of them it's seriously like we all just click so well and i just i feel like inspired and recharged and motivated i feel like those that's how you know you're hanging out with the right people when you leave and you're like i can do this like i I've got this. I'm like excited for tomorrow. I have a game plan for what I'm gonna do, especially with us all having the same um, job and all doing YouTube and just knowing like the different struggles with that. 
and yeah it was I mean it really was such an amazing time thank you Jessica for being such an amazing hostess you guys you have to check them all out I will have them all linked down below in the description all of their channels are wonderful they're all gonna have vlogs from today so if you want to see everyone's different perspective that might be fun I'm also gonna have Mackenzie linked down below Mackenzie was supposed to be there but she unfortunately was sick and we missed her so much so you have to go subscribe to her as well also side note my Myro deodorant let me tell you guys I have used natural deodorant deodorant for years and years and years and um I don't know I guess I just always thought like you know like natural oh it's just because it's natural deodorant like I always keep my deodorant in my purse to like reapply over and over again because it just doesn't really I don't know it just doesn't work as good as like other stuff usually but I had this one on all day and night and it works so good I'm like I still smell good and I can smell that pillow talk scent I really really like this I've been using it for like a week now and so far it's like it is a home run the best one I have used so make sure you check them out I will have that link down below in my description box highly recommend seriously if you haven't switched to a natural deodorant yet though honestly it's time to switch <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you choose to subscribe um give me a thumbs up let me know down below if you enjoyed this video I know I don't do very many like vlog type videos so I'd love to know if you enjoyed it and yeah thank you guys I hope you have an amazing day